this glam was so easy because the glitter was just so, ugh, you're gonna see in the video and it's just the best thing. So if you wanna get glam with me, babes, grab those makeup brushes, grab those makeup products, maybe a pen and a pad in case there's anything you wanna make a note of. Or if you have more mental capacity than I do, just make a mental note of it. <laughs> there might be some products in here that you want. Anyway, enjoy, let's get glam, shall we? Starting with eyes today because I want to do something with a little bit of drama llama. If you want to see how I did my brows, I have filmed a TikTok this morning, which will be up by the time you're watching this. By the way, I post every single day on TikTok. So if you want more of me, I don't know why you would. But if you do, go over there, babes. <laughs> All I've done so far is just drag that concealer down. Just have that base and that prep. But now we are going to move on to adding in that depth. I think this will be the perfect product to do that. This is the P. Louise paints. I love these ones. She has the original paints, but these are like the cosmetic paints. They're a bit thicker in texture. And to do some like cool fucking eye look, these are sick. Loads of colours as well. So if you want to get groovy, babes, you can do that. But today we're going to be taking this shade, which is shade Barboo. Barboo? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's like a dark brown. Gentle squeeze, you can kind of see it coming up there. See how thick she is? I wish I was that thick. <laughs> These are really, really pigmented, so just be wary of that. I'm gonna take some on the brush. I've not set my um, lids, by the way, because this doesn't need that. P. Louise bases are made, so you can put things on top of it nicely. You don't need to set them or anything, so. They work best unset. Um, and I'm literally just gonna put that all over the lid like that. This look is gonna look crazy before it looks good. You gotta trust the process, okay? You gotta trust me. See how that's just all over the lid like that? Then I'm gonna switch over to a little brush like this. Tiny little blending brush. We've got the control. I'm just gonna start to feather out those edges. I'm not gonna add any shadow or anything yet. I just wanna focus on blending that pain. Gentle little tap motions, and then tiny little circles at the same time. They blend easily, I mean, look, already. They aren't difficult to blend. You just need like a small brush so you have that control because they will buff out quite far. This is what I wanted. We've got that nice strong base and then we're gonna feather out all the shades as we go. I am gonna kind of wing it out slightly actually. Just a little to kind of start creating that shape with whatever's left on the brush. See what I mean about these P. Louise paints? They kind of carry the product for you. Don't worry too much if it's not perfect yet because anything crazy will clean up and sort as we go along. But the P. Louise paints, these will dry down. So you will have a nice solid set base um, once they're set. They just make a good sort of like starting point for your makeup. Anyway, let's move on to some shadow. Let's get this thing all blended in, yummy. Time for it. Draw down a t-shirt, new divinity eyeshadow palette. That's what we're gonna be using. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. I've used it before as well. This is like the perfect matte brown eyeshadow palette. There is sort of every shade undertone of brown that you could possibly need, including a black as well. It is perfect. I use this to death. I don't really want warmth with this look. I want more sort of like neutral. I'm gonna dip into this shade, which is called Cosmo. Etch that right along the line of that paint. And you can see already, how we're getting more of that fade. I'm actually gonna dip into the shade Atlantis in here as well, just to kind of brighten that up. See how the P. Louise base is now set? There's no shine to it now. I'm just gonna go over the top of it, mixing these two shades together here to kind of create like a, like a darker brown. Over the top of that base, and then buff that into those shades as well. Blend that into that crease to blend it into those other shades that we've done. I'm basically just doing this though to make sure that that in between here, this middleman area here is actually sort of like filled in and blended. The base is so pigmented itself. I don't even need like that shadow for color. It's more just to make sure everything is blended. And then I'm gonna take a huge clean fluffy blending brush and just make sure that all of those edges are as blended as we can make them right in that corner all the way to the outer corner. Honestly, the best thing about this look is this does not need to be perfect, especially on the lid because the glitter that we are about to apply is honestly gonna change your life. Not only does this just level up your makeup look and just make it look 10-10, but it is so easy to use. You chuck it on the eye and you're good to go. It doesn't crease, it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel heavy on the eyelids. It's so easy to take off as well. Oh, and also it's so full coverage, this whole entire thing. Like this is just the base for it. You wait. You wait. These are the With Love Cosmetics Pressed Glitter Pigments. So essentially they're made with the adhesive in them. So you just apply them straight to the eye. Honestly, these are fucking great. These are so good. Um, I showed them on my TikTok and um, you guys went crazy for them. And I'm pretty sure she's restocking this weekend when you're seeing this video. So hopefully they'll be back in stock, fingers crossed. I think today I'm gonna take this one. This is called Vintage Bronze. So beautiful. It's like a, like a bronze green duochrome situation. I mean, already, come on. Come on. If I had nails, by the way, I think I'd use a brush and I do go in with a brush, but to begin with, I'm just gonna take it straight on my finger and just press that all over the lid. Guys, seriously, how easy, right? Like it's literally gonna change your entire life. Look, whatever's left on the finger, I'm just gonna sort of like sporadically 
kind of put it around so it looks more blended. Change my mind, I'm actually gonna take something a little bit warmer, this shade here, just in that inner corner section, kind of bringing it slightly onto the nose. That will actually help with our um, nose contour later. Little circles all the way up to the brow. I feel like that warmth just sort of brings it together a little bit more. Then I'm just taking a mixture of those two darker brown shades we used on the lid earlier, just etching around that glitter, just so we can see it a tiny bit more and it creates a little bit more of a shadow to make everything look kind of more like blended. Time for the best part cleaning it all up get right into that inner corner and then i'm going to also just drag up and get that nice crisp line later on with concealer that will look like even um even sharper as well so easy right honestly glitter has never been so easy she has loads of colors as well which is just incredible like you could go crazy every color you can imagine she has and she's got like the cool shades like this one where it's like kind of duochrome -y. i feel like you can get really creative with her brand which is always just just lovely Anyway, let's hop, skip and jump over to mascara and lashes. I'm feeling something kind of more winged out for the lash. Any old mascara. This one is actually a YSL one. This is the Lash Clash Mascara. I actually really like this mascara. Not really a big deal what you use though, as long as the lashes are coated so they blend in with the false lashes, you're cool. Lash of choice today. These are a new favorite actually. These are the Claudia Killsby CK7 lash, but what I like to do with them is chop off the end sort of like two or three sections of lashes just to create a smaller lash like this. This is more like a three quarter lash. I didn't think I'd love them so much because in the pack they look really like thick, full, voluptuous lashes that you kind of be like, mm, that's a little bit scary. Once you do that and you put them on, they just add the most like full kind of cat eye outer corner lash ever and they're fluffy and they just, I love them. I love them. <laughs> and I'm going to take my Box Beautiful Latex Free Lash Adhesive. Won't lie, mine are looking a little bit crusty. I probably should move on to a new pair because I've worn these ones so much, but I will use a lash until they literally fall apart on me. So if they look a little bit, a little bit dusty crusty, it's fine. See what I mean though, guys? How you just drop them on the outer corner and they add all that drama. I love them. And I kind of just push up that outer corner just to get that lift, but... How cute are they? To finish off the eye for now, I'm gonna take my misguided Slick Flick waterproof gel liner right in that waterline. This is my favorite. I'm also just gonna tight line with that too, just so everything is quite dark and um, a little bit sexier. Honestly, the difference putting black coal liner in your waterline makes is just insane. If you don't like black, maybe try dark brown. It's a little bit softer. So far though, this is what we've got. I will finish up underneath the eye and smoke that out once I've done my skin, which is what we're about to do. We're gonna pop off camera, do the other eye, and then we can be back to do it. But how easy was that? Even this shade, which is called Mocha right here, that would look lush as well if you want something more neutral. This one I'd already like played around with and done an eye look with. I wanted to switch it up and use this one, but you could just like plonk on any shade. Like it's just so easy. Even this shade, this is called Blush, which is like a lilac -y pink. Even with like a pink base with this on top or soft browns these can be chucked on top of anything and they're literally just like the best thing ever anyway i'm gonna go <laughs> see you in a sec to do base and everything will just start slowly pulling together skin is all prepped and ready to go so i'm gonna go straight in with primer i have been obsessed with this such a unique product i don't have anything like this in my collection that's of this formula it's the glowish by huda beauty blur jam silicone free smoothing primer first of all the texture is so different i don't even know how to describe it it's almost like i don't want to say mattifying because that sounds like it's going to be drying it's not i don't know the texture is just so unique and interesting it's not a putty it's not a jelly it's nothing like that but i don't know it's just it's its own unique little thing okay <laughs> straight into the t-zone it's actually one of those products that immediately i can see it sort of smoothing the skin primer is one of those things that you can really see the difference once you pop your other products on top your foundation stuff and kind of layer things up you'll see how smooth it goes on it looks the same here as it does here does that make sense? Such a cool product. And I like the fact that it's silicone free. I don't actually like silicone based um, pore fillers. I find them to be a little bit too slimy and a little bit too greasy on the skin. And then when I put products on top like foundation, I feel like it kind of just slips and sides and doesn't last on my skin. So I'm so glad that that's silicone free. Give this a go if you're looking for like that type of primer. As far as skin goes, it's been pretty nice to me. It's been pretty good. So I don't feel like I need to pre-conceal. I'm gonna go straight in with foundation and I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. I used this for the first time the other day. Um, I've used the foundation stick, this one here, but not the liquid foundation. And when I tell you, I mean, you'll just see the magic work. Let me just shut the fuck up. You'll see it work. By the way, I use the shade Sand. Picking that up with my Dull Beauty foundation brush. Watch the magic happen. I don't know how to describe this, but yeah so lightweight on the skin but it covers insanely it almost just like look like it's almost like a filter melts into the skin 
um, and you just immediately see that difference. You know when it just lightly conceals the skin? Feels lightweight, but it does the most. I, I don't know, it's just magic, to be completely honest with you. I'm kind of obsessed with this. Where has this been all my life? Definitely is a little bit light. Golden Town would have been better. I've got Golden Town in the foundation stick, which looks like this, by the way. A little bit richer in colour, definitely would have worked better. But all that that's telling me is I need to go get Golden Town, because I'm obsessed. Nothing a little bronzing can't fix. Makeup is all about balance. It's funny because if you look at the difference between my under eye and the foundation, it just shows you how much it covers. I always avoid putting foundation underneath my eye because I let the concealer do the work for that. Sets to a beautiful kind of satin finish. Holds a little bit of glow, but nothing crazy. It is more leaning on the sort of satin matte side, but it just lasts on the skin beautifully as well. And other products lay on top of it perfectly. It just makes a really, really lovely, um, base if you want to know the difference between this and the foundation stick i think it just depends what formula I prefer do you prefer a more like creamy foundation stick do you prefer something more liquid both the vanish range of hourglass so yeah i think it just depends it's just preference really you know oh my god this concealer will change your life right shake on it <laughs> i'm just obsessed it's the huda beauty faux filter luminous matte liquid concealer i don't know what she's put in here but something about this formula is just like buttery, creamy, it doesn't feel or look heavy underneath the eye, but it just conceals so perfectly. This is the shade Nugget, Nougat? Mm, I'm not too sure how to say it, but that's sort of the first shade that I start with, down the sides of the nose and then up here as well. Chin, nose and forehead to balance. Whipped cream is the next shade that I like to take. We all know I like a bright under eye, so I'm just gonna pop that right in the middle here and look how nice and light that shade is. Sounds weird, but I like the applicator too because you've got the surface area with like a bigger like area there. And then when I turn it, you can see it thins out at the top so I can get down the nose nicely and in like little areas. I don't know, I feel like it's just, it's nice. Using my mini Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge to do all of the work for me. Look at that, look at that. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, I've not finished blending yet, obviously, and I'm just gonna blend that edge out with the foundation brush to make sure you get that seamless blend, but look. Like my under eyes have never looked so good, to be completely honest with you. This concealer in the HMB one is just, they're just divine. They just do something to my under eye. I know it's looking a little bright. I will warm the skin up with, um, in contour but if you look at the texture underneath the eye as well how that primer has really helped product to sit in the skin not in the pores you know just so nice i feel like the mix of everything is just lush guys we're bringing her back today it's about it's about damn time <laughs> prime up foundation and contour stick in the shade chai i apologize if you can't get hold of this because i know there's never any in stock but if you are one of the lucky ones that have this well to blend, I'm of course gonna take my Sigma F23. I always get questions on this. Definitely is my favorite um, like cream contour brush because look at the way it just blends that into the skin. Another really good cream contour, by the way, the Pink Honey one, Girl Beauty Gimme Sun, the Psy Beauty, I think it's how you say it, Psy, say? Their cream bronzer, I think it's called like Sun something, Sun Melt or something like that. Their cream bronzer is really, really lovely as well. I do kind of like switch between all of them. It just depends what I'm feeling that day. They are all kind of different in their own way. Have similarities, which is why I like them, but yeah, it just depends what I'm feeling. I kind of stayed away from this for a little bit because I know you can get hold of it but today it just felt right i apply this directly to the skin but if you don't feel comfortable doing that you could totally just grab it like this and then apply and build up as you feel you want to look at it though two pound fifty this is yeah mm -hmm. switching over to a smaller brush to blend my nose contour i am going to take that up into the eyeshadow bit here the shape that i previously made and hopefully my nose will look skinny. <laughs> I actually think this is one of the prettiest cream blushes ever. It's by Patrick Tarr. Mine is disgusting. Double take cream and powder blush. This is in the shade She's a Dull. And when I tell you, I mean, look, come on, how beautiful are these shades? If you like them bubblegummy, baby doll type of pink shades like I do, you will love this. Um, but yeah, some really other nice shades anyway. But it's really cool because you get a cream in here and a powder, a duo that works together. So you can just take that little compact and you're good. Taking a Mitchell MF1 brush, I'm going to pick up that cream blush and just start to stamp that on higher on the cheekbones back here bring it a little bit underneath the eye and then of course onto the apple of the cheek layer together though i will use this powder blush too in a bit um they are beautiful don't forget though to go back in with your brush that you use for your cream contour just to make sure the two are feathered together i just want to zoom you in so you can see the skin and how all the products are laying together so nice everything is full coverage but everything is just 
laying as one. Dare I say I found my new favorite base products. Dare I say. Let's set everything in place. I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake Powder. This is my favorite beautiful kind of pink toned powder to kind of brighten up the under eye. The formula of this though is just insane. Sets everything, but smooths everything out. It almost makes it look even more like a filter than I feel like the skin's already, even if I do this on myself, listen. Yes, I'm applying the products, but the products do the work for you with, with this, which I love. So I'm gonna take my Trigwell Cosmetics Mini Puff. Here she is, looks like this. Powder puffs are the way forward, guys. It presses it into the skin, kind of melts everything together rather than it like laying on top. So I'm just gonna pick some of that up and just directly go in underneath the eye, down the sides of the nose too, right underneath, and you'll see exactly what I'm saying when I say it just blurs the skin. And that's the beautiful thing about this base, right? If you wanted to, you could just sit underneath the eyes, maybe a little bit here as well, and just look how beautiful the products are on the skin. I mean, this is me, and I literally set my entire face just because of my skin type and what I prefer. You don't need to do that, obviously. You do what you're comfortable with, guys. It is your face, it is your makeup. You do what you want, there's no rules. As long as you're comfortable and happy with what you're doing, that's all that matters. I'm gonna let a little bit chill down the sides of my nose, guys. Just to snatch in that um that nose contour. And I'll put a little bit under here as well. I normally prefer to just use this underneath the eyes because it is pink tone, so it's just better under the eyes. But today I'm feeling like doing under here too. To set everywhere else, apart from my cream, bronzer and blush, I'm gonna take my Fenty foundation powder. This is in 250, flip the brush round and I'll set the nose as well. This is the Hourglass double-ended brush, by the way. Today's choice of bronzer is the HMB Cosmetics one. This is in the shade uh, 03 Light Tan. These are so pigmented, by the way, you literally need the smallest amount and I'm just gonna press it onto the skin to begin with because I've not set this yet. I'm using the powder bronzer to um, to set it so I don't wanna disturb the product. So I just pat on to begin with. See what I mean by how pigmented they are? <laughs> and then just lightly kind of buff and blend. Love this shade though. It's like the perfect like warm bronzer shade. If you like tones like Matt Give Me Sun, that warmer kind of like sun-kissed vibe, you will love this. But you see what I mean? Look, like when you put the, like, the brush in, it just picks up so much product at once. Little by little, tiny taps by tiny taps. <laughs> Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna put at the center of my nose. Oh, I think I'm as bronzed as I want to be. Like I said, I want to use the powder from the Patrick Tar one, this one. That shade honestly gets me excited. It's that perfect, like, cool toned pink. I'm just going to take it on, like, a smaller, more like a uh, spot blush brush, if that makes sense. It's the Box Beautiful BB5. Exactly where I put that cream blush. I'm just going to press it over the top. I like something smaller because I just get a little bit more control, especially with shades like this, because I feel like it just allows you to apply exactly where you want it to be and kind of get that pop of color. Look at that shade. <sighs> I can't cope. I literally can't cope. It's the most perfect baby doll Kylie Jenner style cheek blush. I always like to put a tiny bit just in between the brows here as well, because I feel like it helps to balance out the cheeks, because I do put on a hefty amount of blush. Before I completely blend that out, I'm going to take another powder to brighten up the under eye. Guys, the Poundland uh, powder that I used in my last video, I've been obsessed with that. I actually don't even know where it is right now. I think it might be in one of my bags. Probably packed it for touch-ups because I love it that much. However, another powder I really like, and guys, it's a cheap powder. This is by Body Collection. You can find this in Wilkinson's. This is their matte pressed powder in the shade light. Look at this. Like that kind of gives me like powder foundation vibes. Like you get that sort of bright blurred under eye, but it adds a bit of coverage too, which is just my cup of tea. By putting this on underneath the eye as well, it's going to help blur that blush in and you'll get that sort of gradient because the light shade is pigment. It's going to give a bright under eye, but like that baby doll pink blush. You'll see what I mean. Let me find my Trigwell Puff. Like, look at that. I'm just gonna tap it on my hand first. <laughs> I'll do one side first so you guys can see the difference between the underneath. <laughs> Back in with the blush brush and I can take whatever's left on it and bring it a bit higher because we've got that lighter powder that's gonna help diffuse that out. Still get that nice bright under eye, but it just blends the pink in a little bit further. This isn't gonna be for everybody. Definitely a step that can be skipped if you prefer, but I love a good bright under eye. Um, and again, take the smallest amount of this, guys. I feel like it finishes off the look so perfectly, especially when it contrasts with that like smoky eye, you know? Before I do anything else, I'm just gonna finish up underneath the eyes really quick. I'm just gonna take a mixture of the brown shades we've used underneath the eye and just smoke it out gently. Tiny little brush, just so I have some precision. I'm gonna take this brown, maybe mix in some other shades as well and just buff that out. Basically anything we used up top, we're gonna bring down below as well. And I don't wanna drag it down too low. I want that to be nice and close towards the lash line. I'm gonna take a tad bit of black, 
and just basically press that along the lash line just like that just something nice and nice and shiny nice and doo-doo i only want a little bit of glow for this look so i'm going to take my vive skin Dew. this is a beautiful liquid highlighter it lays perfectly on top of powders it's not going to disturb it melt it into the sponge and then i just press it over the top and I feel like it adds the glow back to the skin but the beautiful thing is I've set the skin so it's gonna last but I can add moisture back with a product like this so that I get the best of both worlds you know for lips I'm gonna be using two of the made by Mitchell all smudge no budge liners first one I'm taking is in the shade turn these are so creamy they make such good um lip liners as well as uh, like eyeliners because they're super long lasting so when you put these on the lips you'll get a really nice long lasting lip product then i'm going to take the shade b at one which is like a lighter toned nude i'm going to take this all over the lips how nice is this lip color like on its own and it's going to last so long i will clean this up in a second by the way bear with for the shits and gigs though i'm going to be taking the made by mitchell blush in mango puree just in the center blend that out with my finger and it's just going to lighten that up and create that nice sort of lighter toned nude which i feel like with a darker smokier eye it's just so nice look i love this shade to do this or the shade plant glaze as well that's just the nicest nude combo ever <laughs> it's so matte as well but it's like a velvety matte i'm just obsessed pretty much done i'm just seeing if there's any little finishing touches that i want i'm gonna add in my little moles that i like to do this is the misguided brow you're doing tinted brow marker this is in dark brown and a little lower lash mascara why not time to do my hair and then we'll be done. This is the finished glam. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually forgot saying spray. That's okay. I actually technically don't plan to go anywhere. Yeah. Love that for me. In the description, I will make sure I put all the makeup products and the shades and stuff that I use. Check that out if you need to. But yeah, that's this look done.